In this video, I'll show you how you can take a already created clock for ENCO's Ensemble Music Scheduling System, how you can duplicate that clock and make some modifications so you can quickly and efficiently create new clocks based on different types of content that you need to get on the air. So currently, all I've got in here is a jazz clock that, um, based on my program clock, my schedule, I play underwriting at the beginning, jazz content until I get to 15 past the hour where I have my first spot break with a promo, PSA, and a station ID. Back to music until the next spot break uh, at 45 past the hour and music all the way through. So just jazz tunes in between underwriting at the top of the hour and two spot breaks at 15 and 45. That's sort of the, the consistent type of clock that I wanna keep using. I just need to switch up the content here. So what I'm gonna do uh, to quickly and efficiently do this is highlight the clock that I'm looking at, all right? Um, then what I'm gonna do is copy clock. Now I have a copied clock right here and it should look identical. I'm gonna highlight the copied clock and then rename it. Um, for me, I'm just gonna use the same format but change the jazz uh, programming uh, into our world music programming. So here's world. By hitting the name button here, I'm gonna change the name to choose from over here. Okay, but the content is still the same. So all I have to do is keep the format as like a template and just go through and select each music category and just change the group to what's appropriate. For me, it's gonna be world. Then I hit the set group button to make that, to initialize that here. And it's gonna change the color based on the color category I have for that group. So I'm just going through and changing each one of those jazz elements to world. Now you might be asking, why don't you just hold the control key and do that to a whole bunch of them? And you actually can't do that. I'm holding the control button now. So you've got to go through it's not hyper efficient, but it's certainly easier than starting from scratch, especially because all of those um, all of those spot break elements remain exactly the same. So I just have to go through and change the group for all these. And pretty quickly, I'll have an entirely new clock that I can schedule. Now, the, the only other concern that you might need to make here is that the average length of an audio cut in my world folder is probably different than that in the jazz folder. Not as significant as some different genres, perhaps, uh, but it's, it's about a minute difference, if my memory serves me right, about the, the average length of the, the jazz songs. So I'm going once I complete this process, of changing all my jazz categories to world, I'm gonna look and see how close I get to the end of the hour. And it looks like I'm still happily over scheduled. I make it to um, uh, an hour and six minutes based on the average um, for all of these different cuts. Um, but actually you can see the, the average length didn't follow. So I wonder if I need to make some adjustments to that. Um, that'll be something that I look into I just want to make sure that I that I happily get to the end of the hour and then rely on the soft branch to get me to the next. So that's how you can pretty quickly and easily make a copy of a existing clock in Ensemble and sort of modify it to, to create different content that you can schedule, schedule on the station.